Alright, what's up guys? It's Heat. I wanted to do a video on my one month hardcore Bloodlines and Torment League character that I used to get all of the challenges and the MTXs that came with those challenges. You can see my character right now is wearing the boots and uh, the gloves and I have the chest piece and the helmet here. And uh, this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about sort of the, the planning and the thought process behind this build because I played this build under very specific restrictions. I didn't have a lot of time to play it um, because what happened is I ripped twice before this character and I just kind of was like, okay, I'm going to give up on the league. But then with about one week left, I thought, you know, I really want those NTXs, so I got to roll another character. So basically, I gave myself one week to get all of the achievement, uh, all the challenges. Uh, and and I was able to do it and so this is how I did it so the first thing I thought is how how much can I play so basically I started on uh, Sunday April 12th and I gave myself a week uh, Sunday April 19th to get all these done uh, because that's when I can do the bulk of my playing right there and the league is about to end uh, in a couple of days here maybe a day or two I don't know something like that uh, so what I thought is how much time do I have so I broke it down during uh, during the weekend I can play about eight hours a day so uh, since I started on Sunday I have eight hours there and then I have another eight hours on Saturday and Sunday so that makes it 24 hours and then on the weekdays uh, because I work I can only get in about an hour or two at the most during those five days that uh, making it about uh, I would say 10 hours so basically all 34 uh, all achievements in around 34 hours uh, alright all all challenges under 34 hours which also includes hitting level 80 uh, so that is the restriction uh, that I went under now because I didn't have a lot of currency um, one thing that I did is uh, I thought in my head what is the like I want I need to be able to live and what is the strongest uh, one of the strongest defense mechanics in the game and basically that mechanic is mind over matter now you can get uh, mind over matter two ways you can get it on the skill tree uh, and you can also get it uh, from this uh, unique chess piece called cloak of defiance and what Mind Over Matter does is it removes, uh, it takes 30% of the damage that you take from your mana first before it goes to your life. Uh, now, because I was only, uh, because I only had one week uh, to play it in, uh, in my mind I was like, I don't think I can get enough currency to buy this this um, unique chess piece uh, because they're they're going for around four to five exalt. Uh, maybe like three and a half uh, without a five link uh, and I didn't think I'd be able to get that type of currency so I didn't want to bank on uh, some sort of uh, RNG that I would get good items and be able to sell it to make up that currency so basic so what I did is I was I made this build around that I have to pick up mind over matter okay so this is you can see it here now the other thing I did is what I thought in my head what what's really easy to power up with what what is really really strong right now and there's a couple things that I could have went with but I think lightning tendrils is extremely ridiculous uh, for leveling and I'm going to show you why in this build uh, soon here so I just went with uh, lightning tendrils and then I also went with a utility skill here arctic breath. And what Arctic Breath does is it leaves uh, chill ground and basically it slows everything down. So it's really strong as a defense utility. Now, uh, so I use those two lightning as my uh, lightning tendrils on my primary attack. Lead with this, then go lightning tendrils. Now let's talk a, a little bit about how I went about this. So on the skill tree, as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty simple. So uh, this is pretty much I don't think you can get it any better than this for the type of build that I went because I did uh, lightning tendrils uh, and because I did mind over matter I wanted to do a non crit version and the reason I went non crit is because getting mind over matter on the skill tree right now in 1.3 is extremely inefficient uh, I waste 
like e going down here, starting from this node, I waste 12 skill points just to get it. Now, if I would, ha if I would have had these 12, I could have allocated them to pick up uh, uh, crit passives to make it a crit-based lightning tendrils. But I didn't have that luxury, so uh, I wasn't gonna spend the points to do it. And so I wanted to pick up passives on the tree that complemented both my lightning tendrils and my arctic breath damage so you'll see a lot of stuff like increased elemental damage because that applies to both increased spell damage because that applies to both uh, you also see it here spell damage elemental damage spell damage uh increased cast speed applies for both the only uh passives that is singular is here i could have went actually through elemental damage but uh this i feel like this node is extremely inefficient it's pretty bad uh, so because lightning tendrils was my main attack i just decided to go here and the other decision that you have to make is whether you want cold or lightning when you when i went with stormweaver and i went lightning uh lightning again because it's my primary attack uh, this is pretty uh and that's basically the tree i went with eldritch battery as you can see i have 3300 mana and this synergizes really well with mine over matter because it gives you a big pool to uh, get damage taken from your mana, uh, pretty big hits without depleting your mana, and you have no, you don't need to run any mana flasks or anything like that. So that was the thinking behind the tree. It worked out pretty well. Uh, the other thing is this. I, I want to show you how powerful lightning tendrils is. Now, if uh, I ran three auras, I ran clarity, I ran uh, and both of the heralds. With both of the heralds and how I have it set up right now, I only have, it's only three linked, okay, three linked. I have lightning tendrils, I have faster casting, and I have lightning pen. Three link right now, you're looking at 12,000 DPS on a three link. Now that's insane. Uh, basic, so what I did is I picked up a, a weapon with plus three. Uh, they're not very sought out, and I was uh, lucky to get this for 15 chaos only, all right, so this was a this is something i spent a lot of money on to get uh it's probably one of my, one of the most expensive pieces uh that i spent currency on um, but is extremely good and it allows uh, me to have twelve thousand dps with only three links now i use this setup until i had enough defense uh, about 4400 life 4300 uh, and everything uh, came together really well, and then I put in conch effect. Now with conch effect, I want to show you that how ridiculous this is. Look at that. It went to 20,000 DPS. That's insane on a three link. 20,000 DPS on a three link. Uh, it's absolutely redonkulous. Uh, so when I had enough defenses where I felt really comfortable, I switched to, uh, to this. Uh, so that, that was basically the plan. Now I want to I want to give you some stats on, on on how well I did with this character. On the first day, uh, in six hours, I hit level fifty. In six hours, I was in merciless ledge. Uh, in six hours, basically, and that's because I still I had some pretty good leveling gear from the two previous characters that ripped, and I was able to go really fast. I run double quick silvers. I I was all offensive. I didn't hold a shield. I ran without. Uh, without armor for part of it so you have uh, increased movement speed uh, so it was pretty good uh, six hours now I got all the achievements at level 80 and if we check right now in one day 10 hours that means it's about 34 hours so uh, if you remember from what I said before I, I thought in my mind that I can get it in 34 hours and I'll give myself that that amount of time to do it in uh, so actually Probably I would say maybe two to three hours probably three hours is more accurate was a of uh, being AFK uh, And just leaving the game on so we're looking at probably 31 hours uh, 32 to hit level 80 now the other part Which I think is uh, is not bad. I think it's pretty strong now the other part to this uh, To this build is one of the things you had to do is you had to kill one of these bosses so my plan was to kill piety all right so because piety is probably the easiest to kill out of these but killing piety uh, so shrine piety this is the map right here this map is actually uh, a level 77 and doing a level 77 at level 80 is really risky now uh, shrine uh, excuse me 
Piety herself is pretty easy. The map, the map ended up being more difficult than Piety. Some of the bloodline mods are really dangerous. Uh, now, so uh, basically doing Shrine Piety at level 80 is pretty dangerous, but that's what I wanted to do. So I wanted to save my currency and buy that map. And what uh, ended up happening is I actually ran a precinct and it dropped a, a Palace Dominus, which I feel is more dangerous. It's more prone to desync, so I did. That's one of the, the hollowed husks. This is uh, Dominus. Uh, and I basically traded that down to uh, a, a shrine map. And so I did shrine, it, uh, I, did, I killed Piety. It was pretty easy, but I had a different setup for Piety. So basically what I did is I actually don't normally run with this uh, Sapphire Flask. I run with this Quicksilver. But for the fight, I did this for her arrows. And what I did is I switched out to Jeffrey's Crest. I spent another 18 chaos on this, uh, Jeffrey's Crest, and uh, for a four link. Uh, and if we look at a four link here, what I did is Lightning Tendrils, Faster Casting, Conk Effect, and I did Lightning Pen. And if we equip that, it's about 17,000 DPS but you also get the multiplicative damage from the lightning pen. So uh, that's what I used to kill Shrine Piety. I also switched in uh, with Moon Sorrow because, uh, because it has more spell damage than this. And it's pretty cheap, so I just bought that uh, because just it provides more DPS. So if we look at it now, we're looking at 17,800 as opposed to uh, 16,900, so it's more DPS. Then I also had more DPS here with cast speed on this. So we're looking at, I had about 18,200 DPS going in with a four link to kill Piety. It was pretty easy. So that is the build. Uh, that's just some thought process on how I wanted to achieve all the challenges in a, in a limited period of time and sort of how everything synergized and how, how I had to think about the build, right? Uh, because I wasted a lot of uh, passives to get to mine over matter, so I, wouldn't have ha I, I didn't have a lot of luxury of spending passives to increase my DPS. So I got a little bit creative with it by getting a plus three and using a skill that is extremely overpowered right now. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, post them up in the comments. I'm gonna post uh, the skill tree in the, in the description as well so you can check that out. All right, thanks for watching guys.